Hey guys, every game here, back with a new video, and in today's video I'll be showing you guys on how to convert Minecraft Bedrock Worlds from Xbox to Java. So, what you need is Minecraft for Bedrock Edition for Xbox One, and also you're going to need Minecraft Bedrock version for Windows 10, and also you're going to need Java as well. One last thing you're going to need is a Realm, so either you have your 30 day trial still that you haven't used, or if you did, you're going to have to pay for another realm, which for me is only $5.95, which is uh, pretty good. Also, the last thing I recommend doing is going into your Minecraft world and dumping everything that's in your inventory into a chest, as you may lose your items during it converting to Java. So, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so another thing that I recommend that you do is you want to make a copy of your world. So, to make a copy, you want to go here, and you want to scroll across, go all the way down, then you will see copy world and you just want to make a copy of your microfold just in case something happens and you've still got your copy on your Xbox One. Okay, so once you've made a copy of your microfold, what you want to do is you want to create a realm. So if you've already made a realm, what should happen is it should come up with a 30 day trial and if you've already used it and you have to pay for another one, what you want to do is want to press play on realm, wait for it to load up, then you want to press add two people press I agree and then you just want to pay for it like so but since I've already done that I don't need to do it again so once you've gotten your realm what you want to do is you want to press on the pencil icon then it will load up your realm information then you want to press replace world because it will give, already give you a world now you press confirm and you just want to choose your world like so as you can see my world is here, I'm going to click it and I'm just going to wait for it to load up. Now the bigger the world, the longer it's going to take, the smaller the world, the less time it will take. So mine's like pretty average I'd say because I've had this world for like 6 years. So I'm just going to wait for it to export and then I'll show you the next steps. Also if it comes up with level export successfully and it comes up with this year, you just want to still wait, do not press cancel or it won't work. Okay, so as you guys can see, my world is ready to go. As you guys can see there, my world was exported into a realm. So what I recommend doing is going into the realm to make sure that it's actually the right world. And as you guys can see here, it is. So now what you want to do is you want to exit and save. And now you want to head over to the Windows 10 version to download the world. So once I'm on my computer, I'll be right back. Okay, so once you're on your computer, you want to go into the Windows 10 edition of Bedrock, as you guys can see. Now you press play and your realm should be there. So this is the realm that I had on my Xbox. So I'm just going to join it. And just to make sure it's actually the right world as well. So as you guys see here, I'm on my world at the moment. I'm going to exit and save. Now once you're back in the main menu, what you want to do is you press on the pencil icon. And it will give you the realm information. You want to download the world. And it will start downloading. Now, depending on the size of the world, it depends on how long it will take. Some smaller worlds won't take that long, but other worlds will take longer. So, mine shouldn't really take that long. So, once my world is downloaded, I'll be right back. Okay, so as you guys can see there, my world should be downloaded. So, if I head back, there we go, my world is here. I'm just going to go into it to make sure that all the chunks have loaded properly. Yep, so there we go, it loaded properly. So, now I'm going to just exit and save. Once you've gone into your world to make sure it actually works, what you want to do now is you will need a program called MC Chess Tools P. So, you want to go into the link in the description and you want to click the first download. So, this is for Bedrock version, you have to use this one. Now, it will start downloading. Now, I've got WinRAR, you guys might not have WinRAR, but I've got it. So, you guys might have something else. But it will come up as a zip file. So, once it's downloaded, you want to press show on folder. And I'm just going to extract it. Now once it's extracted, you want to click on the file. And you want to press the setup. And it will start setting up for you. Now you want to click next. Next. And install. I'm going to click finish. And now MC tool will be on your desktop. Like so. Okay, so once you've downloaded Minecraft Tool Chess P. What you want to do is when I go open it, mine's on my desktop, yours should be as well. 
Alright, so this will come up. You just completely ignore it. It will automatically close. A new update is available. I'm just going to click close because I don't want to update mine at the moment. So, once you're on here, you want to click on open folder. And you want to click the world that you're going to be converting from Bedrock to Java. So, this is the world I'm going to convert to Java Edition. I'm going to click on it. Now, you want to wait for your world to load. Once it has loaded, you want to press Tools, Convert, Convert to Java. Now, all this stuff is completely up to you, but for converting, you want to convert it to 1.14, because that's the latest at the moment. They might have updated it to 1.16, I'm not too sure, but if they have, you just select it. Now, for Dimension, you obviously want to convert your overworld. You can also convert your nether and your end, that is completely up to you, but I'm going to convert mine anyway. Now, the last thing you want to do is you want to click on this little folder icon, and you want to choose a world, just any world, it's okay. So you want to choose a world, and you just want to rename it. So I'm just going to add as two zeros and a nine at the end of that. Now you want to convert, and it will start converting the chunks to Java. Once it's finished, I'll show you the next steps. Okay, so as you guys can see now, it has been converted. So I'm going to press close, and it closes as well. And now you want to open up Minecraft on your computer, of course, and you want to press play. Now, once Minecraft Java Edition has loaded, you want to click single player. And as you guys can see, my realm is on here. So it says new world 009, so that's what I named it. And we'll click play, and it will come up with this. Now you just press I know what I'm doing, and it will load the world up. Alrighty, so as you guys can see here, my Minecraft Bedrock world from Xbox is now on Minecraft Java Edition. That's uh, pretty cool actually. So I'm just going to make this creative real quickly. Okay, so I'm now in creative. So here's my world. So also, since I converted my nether and my end, it'll be still the same as console. So since I converted my end and my nether, it'll be uh, still the same. So obviously for me to find a new nether, I'm going to have to find a new chunk. And um, that shouldn't really be too long because I didn't really go into another. Also, since I converted my end as well, I'll show you my end. And also, one more thing. So, whatever you put in your chest will be still there as well. And also, if you didn't put anything that was in your inventory into a chest, it's most likely going to be gone. So, that's why I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you do that, just in case. So, I'm heading down to my stronghold. Alrighty, so here's my end portal. Now, for some reason, it's glitched out, so the portal's actually been activated, as you can see. And if I go up here, um, the dragon is here, even though I've defeated it, but, um, you know, it's just because I've converted it over to Java. And also, new chunks come in as well, on the end as well, so it's kind of weird now. If you guys do run into any problems, feel free to comment down below, and I'll help you out as best as I can. I will try and get back to everyone as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm Free Gaming, and I'm out. See you guys next time.